Hi, I'm Rai. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to showcase how broken is our Archon versus the hardest floor of the Abyss, which is Abyss Floor 11. If you haven't subscribed, please do so for more Genshin Impact related content. Let's get started with the first floor. For the buff, I usually choose the one which add attack, damage, attack speed, or crits. Solidify. For first floor chamber 1, you can actually use any party, any setup. You can brute force your way to clear this chamber. Here, I mostly use Noel burst and clear all of the mobs. It is easier to clear a lot of mobs with Noel Burst. After you clear all of the Hydro Slimes, there will be one Hydro Abyss Mid Spawn. For Hydro Abysmic Seal, you can use Electro or you can use Pyro But the most effective one for the shield is to freeze it with Cryo That's it for floor 1 chamber 1, I'm sure most of us can clear this. For chamber 2, the fight also Time kind of off. straightforward. You are only facing 3 x metacurl. You can use basically anything to kill them. Here I'm using 3 pyro characters because floor 11 itself draining a lot of energy so I'm trying to maintain my character's energy by using 3 characters with the same element so they produce the same element particle. After the X metacrow gone, there will be a stone shield metacrow spawn. So make sure you have a way to kill them or to destroy the shield before killing them. You can destroy the shield using explosion. For example, Cleese attack, Ember's bunny, or overload elemental reaction. You can also use claymore user to clear the shield. And you can also use geodemic to clear the shield. Since we only need 6 minutes to get a 3 star, if you have more time, make sure to gain some energy before entering the floor 2 because it will be really helpful. Next is floor 2, the floor everyone's hate. The key point in this floor is using Zhongli. On my party, the key point is using Zhongli. First, I'm using Songli's shield to break the Helicurl shield. These two Helicurls will always aim for the monolith, so it is best to kill them first. After killing two of them, there will be another two spawn right away, and you just need to repeat the process. When all four of the shield Helicurl die, there will be one X Metacrawl, which is also aiming for the monolith. Make sure to hit the X meta curl so he doesn't hit the monolith. After the X meta curl die, you better aim for one of the pyro archer, only one, and don't kill the electro. But in this case, I accidentally kill it, so I should move to the second electro archer. 
because the second to fourth electro archer will aim for the monolith. Meanwhile, the second to fourth pyro archer will only aim for you, so you can just let them be until you clear all of the electro archer. After you are killing all of the melee healing curl, there will be one shield meta curl appear, wooden shield one, and he will only aim for you. So it's really fine to just let him be, but make sure not to fight near the monolith because it can just hit the monolith while aiming for you. When all of the archer gone, all you have to do is to kill the wooden shield meta curl. You can kill it slowly while regaining your energy and to prepare for the last floor. You can see that my monolith HP is quite high. It is on 82% so it is good enough I think even without a crowd control character For chamber 2 the key point of this strategy is to use Venti's burst over and over again First, I'll use Fenty's Burst to gather all of the enemy and burst it with my Pyro character and I'll make sure to regain more energy for the next burst. Time for By doing this, the enemy won't have any time to hit the monolith. That's just how OP Fenty as a character in this floor. Unfortunately, I cannot save enough energy for the third burst, so I'll need some time to regain more energy. Then when I have the energy, I just need to spam it. After killing all of the treasure hoarders, you can actually took your time to get more energy since since the Fatwe Agen will only aim for you. So you can took your time slowly but make sure not to die because this guy hit quite hard. You can see that I'm easily getting the 3 star on floor 2 with both of the Archon. It is just like a playground for them. Next is floor 3, chamber 1 where we will fight 5 Fatwees. I'm using Zhongli here to reduce their overall resistance by 20% and I'm using Keya for a superconduct reaction to reduce another 40% of their physical resistance and the Fatui itself is really weak in the physical resistance part so using a physical attacker like Keqing is really a good idea here make sure to bring cryo character to break the electro Fatui shield and an electro character to break the hydro Fatui shield After the first wave cleared, you must aim for the Hydro Fatui first because he can heal his friend. After killing the Hydro Fatui, you just move to the gear 1 when they're shield up and use only shield to break the gear Fatui shield. After that, you just stay near the gear Fatui so the Electro come to you and break the shield there so you can hit both of them at the same time. 
This will reduce your time needed for the chamber one, which is really important so you can have easier time on chamber two. On chamber two, the main point is to use Venti to control the electro chicken mate. If you are not having a good crowd control, you will have a hard time chasing the electro chicken mate teleporting here and there which is going to waste a lot of time that is why venti was really good in this floor you just spam your burst collect them together and just kill it and make sure to get enough energy for the next burst after both of the electro chicken makes die there will be only two fatwe agents spawn and you can basically just clump them together with Fenty's crowd control and then spam them with your burst. I'm basically doing a lot of bad moves there. I waste quite some time but I think I still can manage this because I use Fenty and I clear chamber 1 quite fast. Basically, it is not good to use Pyro here because the Fatui Agen have higher Pyro resistance but but Mafenti is using Viridescent Set so it is quite okay to use Pyro DPS here since Mafenti can reduce their resistance. It is only 2 seconds left before I lost my 3 star I managed to do so because I cleared the chamber 1 quite fast ok that's it how both of the Archon are really important for both chamber 1 and chamber 2 in this 11th floor of the abyss ok thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you next time